Hello everyone. Um, today I will be talking about Last FM. Last FM is a music and chanting website that gives you free music recommendations and loads of other great stuff related to music. Um, it's a really good website to use whether you're a hardcore music fan or if you're just really bored. So um, as you can see, this is the homepage of Last.FM. Um, and down here you can see the cool features it has. Um, it gives you music, music recommendations. It shows you the concerts happening near you. You can listen to music for free on live radios. And you can find people who have the same music taste as you do. Okay, so first off, you need to create a new profile. Um, you can here, once it's done, this will open up. Um, you can join with Facebook like you usually would when creating a new profile. So using it, choosing your username and typing your email address and whatever. Um, after you're done with that, you will um, get redirected to this page. Now, all you need to do is just verify your account through your email address and then after clicking on the link that um, is showed to you in the email, you will be redirected to this page. Um, so yeah, just like it says, type down your favorite artist. Um, you can type in as much as you want. Um, and it has a really large um, database, so you could use, you could choose any um, hipster artists, or you could, you know, choose some mainstream ones. Um, doesn't really matter because it has almost literally everything. Um, so here are some of mine. After um, typing that in, you will see your homepage now, your new homepage. Um, and here you can see some recommendations that's literally just made because of all um, because of the artists that you just typed in. So here are some artists, some music. Um, if you go to your profile now, you will see um, that well you haven't got anything on it yet, so you need to download the Scrabbler application. Now, what this does is it automatically links your music library to your account. So after you finish downloading this, it's not that big, 15 megabytes, you know, um, you'll see this. And so now you can play any song you want. And when this pops up, it means that the song is already added to your profile. But the Scrabbler application works like iTunes, so you need to play through a song from the beginning all the way to the end for it to count, to be linked to your profile. So if you don't, if you just play it for a couple of seconds, it won't be added to your profile, so you need to listen to the song all the way through, from the beginning right to the very end. So, um, after you know how to use that, you are set to explore by yourself. Um, those are just the basics, but um, yeah. So here, you can click on this, and you can find your musical neighbors who have the same taste as you do. So you can click on their profiles, and you can send them messages, you can add them as a friend, and you know, what if you really bond? <laughs> you might really bond. Um, when you get back on your home page, you will see album recommendations, artist recommendations, and song recommendations. So here you can download these songs all for free. Um, and here you can set your location to find out the events that, that are happening near you. So just type in wherever you live, what um, country or city you, you're from. And yeah, those are the basics to Last FM. Um, hopefully you'll found um, you'll found some great songs and met some cool people. You know, um, yeah. Um, I actually have my own personal account, and this is mine. And I actually haven't used it in quite a while. But um, here you can see all the events that are happening near me and all the um, artists that it thinks is right for me and here are some recently listened to songs that I've listened to so yeah that is how you use Last FM. I hope you have some great fun on it <laughs>